since the beginning of the time of this country's birth, we've had control of it. Up until, I would say, uh, let's say 20 years ago, we started losing it. Well, what better way for a government to control its people if the people really don't have any desire to stave the government's intentions back? Well, yeah, now if you're a Mexican and you come into this country and this government whether it's state, city, county, or federal government form, starts handing you all kinds of handouts, I'll bet you that those particular Mexicans are going to vote in any way that they're told to. You might call it buying votes. Now, I've heard the word amnesty spoken by the current administration. If amnesty is given to all the illegals today, and they become citizens of the United States. Think about it. 40 million new citizens of the United States that come from a third world mud country didn't have nothing to do with building this place or fighting for it. Very, very few of them are in the military. There are some. I suppose they needed a job. Okay. If you cross the North Korean border illegally, you get 12 years hard labor. If you cross the Iranian border illegally, you get de detained definitely. If you cross the Afghan border illegally, you get shot. If you cross the Saudi Arabian border illegally, you'll be jailed. If you cross the Chinese border illegally, you may never be heard from again. If you cross the Venezuela border illegally, you will be branded as spy and your fate will be sealed. But if you cross the U.S. border illegally, you'll get a job, a driver's license, social security, welfare, food stamps, credit cards, subsidized rent, or a loan to buy a house, free education, free health care, a lobbyist in Washington to help you out, billions of dollars worth of public documents printed in your own language, and the right to carry your country's flag while you protest that you don't get enough respect, not to mention a plea deal after trying to blow up a plane over Detroit. I just wanted to make sure that I have a firm grasp on this situation. like we fought for ours. Don't drag our country down and turn it into a third world country like you've got. Blanca, es una enfermedad que sigue caminando. 
ciudad de Perú. Ojalá los hermanos latinoamericanos, así como la comunidad afroamericana, nos unamos en contra del odio y en contra del racismo. O sea, por el odio a los mexicanos en particular, ojalá esto no divida ¿verdad? a la comunidad latinoamericana. ¿Qué piensas del mensaje que dijeron el día de ahora estas personas? refleja el odio ¿no? y la ignorancia vil. Esta soberbia por el poder blanco, por la raza blanca, es una enfermedad que sigue caminando. ¿verdad? Pero ojalá los hermanos latinoamericanos, así como la comunidad afroamericana, nos unamos en contra del odio y en contra del racismo. ¿Verdad? Para terminar vencedores en esta lucha por los derechos humanos. O sea, por el odio a los mexicanos en particular, ojalá esto no divida ¿verdad? a la comunidad latinoamericana.